I'm up to episode six right now. I just watched six last night, so technically I'm on episode seven. Yeah. I wrote down some notes. Yeah. I took some ideas. There have been a lot of people that said, when I start The Wire, document it in a form of fashion. And yeah. I'm making sure that I do so right now. I have five questions okay. for my first five episodes. I'd like to share this with you guys. Okay. And my, possibly get some answers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get some answers if or not. If it's spoilery, I'm not going to answer it. No spoilers at all. I okay. would like everybody that has not watched The Wire ever, just like how I was until this past Sunday. None of this contains spoilers, so you should be completely okay if you do want to start this with me specifically and watch all five seasons throughout the next couple of weeks or months or whatever it is. Okay. I want to start by saying, before I get to any of these oh, five God. questions, I want to start by saying before I get to any of these five questions, Lance Riddick is great. May he rest in peace. R.I.P. Really good. R.I.P. Yeah. Really good. No, my first question, however... Where are the bark? Where are the Barksdales getting these baggy turtlenecks from? Could you guys answer that for me? <laughs> Shit, they get it from they oh get it from God. the uh, Harold Pinter Man of Fashion. That's that's for all my DMV heads. Harold Pinter Man of Fashion, them all. <laughs> you get them from there. Shout out to shout out to everybody in DMV, Norfolk, all the places. I like these turtlenecks, but they're just a big and and they're mixed and they're putting turtlenecks with everything, like big jackets, light jackets. <laughs> it was cold, nigga. That's how Baltimore. niggas dress. Yeah. Exactly. I saw the dope boys dress back in the day. I didn't think of the weather concerns. Okay, so it's Baltimore. I, okay, I complete. Okay, so I have the answer of where they're getting the turtlenecks. Okay, number two. Have I met the person that's gonna pass Bunk or Kima as my favorite character? Who? Oh. Have I have I have I met anybody that's gonna top Bunk or Kima as my favorite character of Ki this entire series? Kima, yes. Yeah. Bunk, probably not. Okay. I I Wait, you, would you agree? put a little. I would agree. I a, I'm trying to think. Has Snoop popped up yet? No, season. She four. has not. Uh, season four. She has okay. not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I did make a little bit of an asterisk here. I think that I've answered my own question. It may be Lester, but I'm not positive yet. <laughs> I, I like uh, what's my boy's name? Ooh, Herc? Nah, the light skinned nigga. Bubbles? No, nah, he's bubbles. talking about the cop. He's talking about the light skinned No, not the cop. cop. I'm oh. talking about the nigga that be uh, serving. He did. Oh, oh, I know you're talking about. I was, I was about, about to say a big uh, spoiler just now. <laughs> oh, D? <laughs> not D. Uh, home, home. Fuck, oh, why is he? Why is I, he? I know. It's like right on the tip of my I tongue. Need to <laughs> if he's not by season one, episode he's on, five, no, don't he's, say he's it. on the block already. He's on yeah. the block already. He's on the block already. He's got the, he's got the, uh, he's always got the scully on. Shit. Uh, Are you talking about Mac Wilds? No, nah. not Mac Wilds. Why, why can't I think of... I can think of every character right now but him. It's literally on the tip of my fucking tongue. Oh. Serving and he's got the scully on. Okay, so he's there's nice a possibility... He was on Oz. He was on Oz. Uh, I know exactly who he's talking about. I know people are like about to shoot us right now for uh, I'm mad not I knowing this character. He's in all the rap videos, <laughs> for, too. Yeah, he, like... Oh, my God. He was in... Bodie. Bodie, yes. Bodie. Bodie is my favorite That's character. Mac That's Mac Wilds, ain't it? No, oh. man. Mac Wilds. JD is, uh, Williams is his name. Yeah, JD Williams. Mac Wilds is um one of the kids, man. He's I think in, he he's, plays Michael. He or no. Michael. You know, you haven't met him yet. Oh, you haven't met him yet. okay, okay, you okay, okay. okay. So I have later. Said, okay. Down the line, down the line, down the line. See, this is what okay. happens when you don't watch a show after 20 years is that people okay start telling that. you about characters that haven't yeah. shown up yet yeah. and you're waiting for them. I'm okay with that. <laughs> they don't, sh they, he's not showing up for a quite some time. So you got, you got some time, buddy, but third question. Okay. I have, I have heard of a Bodhi. I just have not seen this Bodhi as a he's, he's been there. You've definitely seen him. He's oh, he is? Oh, I've seen Bodhi already? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, he's been there. He's, okay. he's going to become prominent in a, mm, about two episodes. Don't uh -huh. gonna be, I'm just saying he's going to be prominent in about two episodes. Go ahead. Okay. Side note, have you guys ever played Mac Wilds R&B album? This is not part of the questions. This is no, a side note. No, no. Great album. You guys should listen to it. No, it's not. <laughs> Number three. How legendary is Wood Harris for being Ace Boogie and Avon Barksdale within months of each other? He was a legend. Yeah. I mean, he, he was, I, I think at one point, a lot of people thought of him as like, I'm going to say like next Denzel, but like that next black actor that was on the I mean, he was, uh, he was like, oh, it's funny. People always say I look like him. And then we you got the same last bit. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Tyler. Really? People always say we yeah, look like all, all three of us look alike. <laughs> I think you more than Tyler does, though. I, I think so, too. Yeah. But some racist shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wood Harris, it's black. It's all right. I like Wood Harris, sir. I, I think he's one of the better act actors out here. He's in something else recently that I really like. He was, a, was he in Space Jam? No, he wasn't in Space Jam. He, nah. was in, um, he was in Creed 3. Ah, uh, yes, he was. He was yeah, in Creed 3. Yeah, he that, actually. He was in Creed 3. I bring it up because I'm very, very astonished. I've seen Paid in Full. That is one movie you cannot say I've never seen. I've seen it at least a hundred times. So I'm very familiar with Wood Harris. But seeing him as Avon 
in the wire, knowing that this is around that 2002 area, I'm like, you are very fucking talented for being able to pull off almost two different parallels of characters, even though they're both did around you get to the, involved the drug game. Did you get to the? Did you get to that yet? N- no. Okay. Whatever you're doing, I don't know what it is. Okay, come, pay attention. Make sure you pay attention. All right, next question. Okay, number four. Do you see what alcohol does? Alcohol plays a terrible theme within these first five episodes. Not only so have heroin. I seen Mick. Right. <laughs> so does well, heroin. <laughs> yes, that is a fair fact. But not only have I seen McNulty fall down hills, I've seen three of the biggest fucking idiots in this show drive up to the jets at two in the morning and almost die. Alcohol <laughs> is playing too big of a factor in these first five episodes. And it's made me hate Carver. It's made me hate the other two that I can't remember their Carver names. Carver and Hurt. Yeah, I, listen, man. Alcohol is not going to stop being a theme, uh, specifically in McNulty's life. So yeah. get ready for that. <laughs> You're going to be pissed a lot during the show over alcohol. He's in McNulty. I just thought about it. Wood Harris is in BMF and uh, Winning Time. He's in BMF? Yes, he's really good in BMF. He is too. in Winning Time. Yeah. Yes, he he's is. He's really good oh in God. BMF, wait, though. Wait. This is one of the greatest character actors Yo, of, he's of all good. time. He's like, like in the <laughs> first season only, though. I think he, yeah. And the thing that's crazy about character actors like Wood Harris is that they always have to audition. He, every role he gets, he auditions for, and I think it's that. I think that, that he better not be more. making him audition, bro. He's a, he's for sure auditioning everything. Everything he does, yeah. BMF, sure. he's good in BMF though. He I plays gotta, Pat. I gotta check that. I still haven't watched. <laughs> he it plays BMF like yet. one of Meech's first connects. I heard it got bad though. I, uh, you know what? I stopped watching it before they got to Atlanta, so I'm not really sure like what's going on. Okay. All right. Last question. Because we got Atlanta about, now. Wow, well, I didn't know that. We got to talk I'm, about. Uh, we got to talk about something else visually too. Okay. Number five. Oh shit! Number five was Have y'all ever played Mac Wild's debut album? Jesus Holy shit! Just here. play it. Oh my! Just I'm play not it. playing it. I don't like. I didn't like own it. So like that was that was really you the. Didn't like own it? No. Wow. Go also, side that. note: Michael B. Jordan's actually pretty good in here. Well, how old is he in here? He's like, really good. Thirteen. Fourteen. Yeah, that yeah. might have been his first role. Yeah. He that might be when he was running around with his uh, headshots. Yeah. He was, <laughs> <laughs> he was still the corny guy then. So. Yeah. When I see that, I was like, hey, I don't blame this thing. He's actually pretty good, right? I, I don't want to spoil it, but there is a there is a section where he gets some money. And he was like, man, I don't want these two men. Like, I was like, okay, it's pretty, it's pretty good. <laughs> they told, they told, it, uh, shit, I can't even talk to you about nothing. Yeah, we can't, we can't. We'll come can't back to this. It. We'll come back to this in a couple of days. 